So if you have a, you use a concrete encased electrode, the practice has been in the past that we use ground rods. That's a very common practice. 2008 code is saying you have to use the concrete encased electrode. So if you have a concrete encased electrode, you have to get to that. And some inspectors are saying, well, now that you have to go to the concrete encased electrode, you also still have to put ground rods. And the answer is no. You need one electrode. And if you use a concrete encased electrode, that's your electrode. No more than that. Scott? Well, but if you do have structural metal or one of the other electrodes, you still have to go to all those as well. Any electrode that's present. Yeah, any one that's present. Right. But if you have no structure, nothing else, and you mm -hmm. have just a concrete encased electrode, my point is some inspectors now are requiring you to drive a ground rod in oh. addition to the other electrodes yeah, that are present. John? Part of the problem or the reason for that was that when you have other utilities looking to pick up their grounding and you're running down into a concrete encased electrode, there might not be a convenient point for them to connect to. So we were asking for the ground rod to make it handy, but we're solving that problem in this edition with that inner service terminal now. Okay. 